All right, so we've had a little bit of time here with the A1 and we printed out quite a few things. And overall, the machine performs very well, especially for the single printing color. I had no issues whatsoever and all the prints turned out great. And then using the MS, obviously things get a little more complicated. And even with that said, this is a very simplistic and probably the most put together multi-material system that I've used. So first let's look at the single material printing. And you guys saw the first Benchy and then I actually printed out three more Benchies. So I did one in black, which you guys can see here turned out very well, even being 14 minutes long. So yeah, it does put the layers down beautifully and very quickly. We do have something a little bit in there, but yeah, pretty much perfect, I would say. Now I also sliced the same Benchy myself in the bamboo slicer for the recommended most efficient printing. And this is what we got. And this is actually, if I can remember correctly, about 45 to 50 minutes. So quite a bit longer and the quality is a little better. We do have a little bit discoloring from shiny to matte because of the speed but yeah it is a little bit better there's more detail and definitely a lot more solid benchy than this one this one feels much lighter but yeah pretty incredible that even printing at super speeds you guys can see the fast benchy looks great and here we have another benchy that's printed in a 0.16 layer height instead of the 0.2 which the other two are and you guys can see it is pretty clean again not much better than the other ones and this took over an hour to print but we do have more resolution and detail like in the wording back there and just basically more detail. We do have more layers. Yeah, and this is in gray. So as you guys can see, it does very well with the benchies. Here, we had a pretty interesting print. I guess it's like a pan flute. So this is supposed to be functional. You blow in there. We did have some stringing. You guys can see there inside. It does kind of work. I'm not gonna attempt to play it. I think some of that stringing might be messing up the airflow. But in any case, it did a great job here. And on the black, we can really see everything well. It's a beautiful piece here and it also comes with the printer. I went ahead and printed out more stuff that was included with the printer, like this little flyer here and this actually printed in pieces and it's put together. And here we have black PLA and this piece actually screws down to hold this piece that falls through. Yeah, very nicely printed out. The layers are just beautiful on everything. Tolerances are perfect. <laughs> So you just put this through and then you put the copter flyer on top and then you pull it and it flies away. So, and it actually works really good. You do have to pull it pretty quick and hard to make it go, but definitely a fun little toy. So another print here is this gauge for bolts and we have little labels here that tells us what size bolt it is and you can measure it and also the length. So this is good just to get a quick idea of what size bolts you got laying around. And this was also included with the printer and I printed this in the gray PLA. So after realizing I had some stringing problem, I printed a few of these. This is just one of them that I got pretty much where I wanted. Basically I was playing around with how much retraction I need. And so in your machine settings, you can change the retraction in the bamboo lap slicer and originally comes with 0.8 retraction and I ended up going to 1.1. I started practically getting perfect prints after that. So this is a good way to uh, test your retractions and adjust them. And actually before I did adjust it, I printed this bear out, which really shows how stringy it is in between the little holes there. And also it depends on the filament. Some filament is a little bit more stringy than others, but you guys can see this is a pretty cool bear. It's like a tricolor, changes color. And there's a lot of retractions here, so turned out very well. And bumping the retraction will definitely make all that stuff go away. So another print I printed, which I thought was going to fit my car. This was actually for a different model, paddle shifters for an Audi. And I printed this actually in PTG, and there's two of them. So it turned out pretty good. There is a little bit of layering issues or sticking, and I believe that was because it was printing too fast for PTG. And I believe if it will slow down it'd be pretty much perfect but yeah as you guys can see PETG is no issue and it sticks perfectly with this printer and it does look great overall and so for items like this you can print with PET G or even ABS shouldn't be a problem for smaller kind of parts or items on this build plate. We also have this little octopus and unfortunately we did lose a few legs during printing because they got knocked off well I guess just one leg here almost and then a piece of another there we go. But yeah, other than that, it did print out. And this is also a tricolor filament here. So it's like black, purple, and blue looks like. And yeah, so 
The bed does stick well, but we do need to fine tune some of the parameters of maybe Z hopping and everything like that. Well, I just tore off a piece to get it where it doesn't knock off the pieces. So yeah, this was printed very fast. And my guess is maybe that's part of the reason why it knocked a few of these little parts off as it was printing as there's a bunch of them that need to stick and then combine together as it prints out. But yeah, if you guys look at the layers there, it's pretty much perfect and it looks beautiful. So again, with single color printing, this printer does an excellent job. And our largest single print is over here, which is a headphone stand. Yeah, this thing did a great job. It all printed in one go, and this piece actually comes off here from the top. So this is basically like a multi-purpose. You can hang headphone on both ends, or you can just take this piece out and hang one pair with the pads going like this so yeah I thought it was pretty unique and I got into headphone listening recently so I needed some stands yeah we can see it's very smooth here on top beautiful finish so it does a great job but where there was overhang we can kind of see it's not perfect still actually really good for how fast this thing was printing it looks really good there's some ringing and vibrations obviously but overall looks great and I did have to put this together with some m3 bolts with these spacers in between and yeah overall I'm very happy with how this turned out and I'm definitely going to be using this to store my headphones on. And speaking about stands, I do have another stand over there. As you guys can see, there's a lot of purge on the side there. And if one thing that needs to be mentioned is that there is a lot of material that gets used up as you do multicoloring. So every time a color changes, especially from white to black, there has to be a lot of purge in between to clean out the nozzle completely so you have a nice clean print. This is where we printed the panda here, which comes with the printer. And we did change his eyes to orange instead of the blue which turned out really nice do have a layer shift here this is not completely the printer's fault as the power went out fortunately the PI kept the print stuck even after it was completely cooled off and then when I had power again I was able to resume the print but the issue is is when it resumed it was offset right here but the interesting part is is as it kept printing for some reason it jumped back to where it's supposed to be which is really odd so I'm thinking this is just a software glitch as it doesn't completely remove remember where it was and I have another print that did exactly the same thing because there was a storm going by and the power kept going out unfortunately and this was our purge block not too big but you guys can see a lot of black and white changes there now what happens if you don't use the purge block and this is where we got this turtle here that we sliced and if you don't use the purge block it doesn't purge enough go between the colors and so you got color bleed and you can kind of tell here on the bottom part it's a little darker between the oranges that is the color bleed the brown and orange doesn't really affect it too much because they're similar tones you can kind of see that I guess the very bottom here the tips that's the actual orange but here we do have some color bleed with the brown and obviously the black definitely color bleeds you can see it even more and that's a lot more noticeable as we go up here we have color bleed from the black into the orange so yeah overall it turned out great you do need to use a purge block because if you don't you have to purge even more on the nozzle now I did see an option where you can purge into the infill and that might actually help a little bit without wasting so much filament but that's something you got to play around with and tune now a print that did do very well as we did use a purge block is this gear and I'm not sure what I did with the purge block but I lost it somewhere in that sea of purge but in any case the gear is pretty unique because this is a functional print and we did different colors for the certain parts so we got the brown on the outside got gray here for two gears we got white for the other two and then black for the last and the middle is also black and what's incredible is this thing printed and just popped off the build plate and just worked right off the bat so if we hold the center we can spin this thing and you guys can see the gears so yeah pretty incredible that it just worked right off the printer and this thing is smooth as butter it's literally perfect and we did this with multiple filaments in different colors so yeah very cool so here we have a headphone stand that did not finish. And the reason I didn't want to finish it, not only was I already using a lot of material printing this, but because I had a power outage again, unfortunately, because of the storm that was going by. When I restarted it or resumed printing after the power loss, it was offset again, just like the Panda. And I didn't want to continue printing it as it was pretty much a failed print. So yeah, this was going to be really cool as this is like a also headphone holder with some feet that go this way and a little bracket here that you put the headphones on. What was cool about it is that it was three tone here with black 
and white on the front and gold on the inside and it was looking really really good and I was hoping everything was going to go fine as this was a 30 plus hour print and unfortunately I did have a power out on it and we had to let it go so I might try to print this again as I do really like this combination of colors. I was running out of the gold so I would need to get that before I can do it. So the next print I kind of custom made here and just an S with a red background and actually the whole back is red you can see here and this is a more simplistic kind of slice but kind of cool in the slicer you can literally paint and select the colors you want on the surfaces and this is what I did here. I made a few of these as I'm going to put them on my brake gallopers on the car. So yeah with the color painter and the slicer you can get really creative with what you can make and the more flat the model is the less filament you're gonna waste purging so the purge obviously works with height and how many different colors so yeah if you're gonna print something small with lots of different colors you're gonna waste a lot of filament and that's this example here which by the way had a huge purge block and it's heavy and the reason for that is because we got four different colors and we actually got pretty unique colors in here because we use trifilament as some of them so we have a huge amount of mixture here with the different filaments and also lots of detail pieces hopefully i can get close enough here so you guys can see well let's start at the bottom so we got black on the bottom and then we have on his little feet there we got little black nails on the edges on both sides then we got this tricolor filament going up higher here that kind of turns to green and then the blue which looks really cool so it's like bronze green and blue looks like and then as the shell starts we got a different tricolor filament which is a purple I guess gold and you can't really see this side because there's only two sides of it but yeah okay you can kind of see the black there on the front of it so the black is this way and then we got this greeny gold to the purpley blue so then we had the white vest on the front with the black arms Again, lots of different contrast here. And then as we go up, our body here is still that same kind as we had down here. But we do have like a little piece of black here on the back of the head. So yeah, kind of hard to see it all, but <laughs> lots of different colors, guys. And then we got white eyes, which turned out pretty good. There's a little bit of droopage there on the top. Yeah, all of this, guys, was painted in in the slicer. Took a very long time to print, and it's pretty small. The purge block is huge and heavier than the print. And we had a ton of purge poops over there as you guys can see there's a whole sea of them actually you guys can't see all of them unless i completely zoom out but yeah they go pretty far back there and that's just for these color prints that we printed here, which is a lot of filament that went to waste. And with that said, even though we do have some drawbacks to, you know, color printing and multi-material printing, this is still a very well put together machine that works incredibly well from the slicing to the printing and the AMS just being very simple to use. And if you use Bamboo Lab filaments, it knows the color of them, which is also pretty incredible. It's like a built-in sensor there somehow that it knows. You can obviously use any brand filament and it still works fine and on that note I do have a few things I want to say or I had a little bit of issues with one was this wire you need to be very careful about it not going around this beam here because if it does it's gonna snag everything and yeah you're gonna have trouble so whenever you set up all your tubes and wires make sure they're all pointing away from here and not towards the back so that's one thing to definitely keep an eye on another thing here is that the AMS system only does more basic materials and can't do things like TPU so if you want to do TPU printing it would have to be you know just straightly directly into the extruder which I did not test but should work just fine with that another thing I can't show you guys right now but the build plate is a little tedious to put on it does have the end stops but it tends to kind of fight with you and to line it up just right you do have to butt it just right and put it down not a big deal just something I noticed but yeah other than that there's not too much to really say bad things about this thing it's pretty incredible the power outage restart offset does need to be addressed somehow and I don't know if it's just my unit or maybe it's software based because it did happen on both of the prints and the other part obviously is purge blocks and material waste and that's something that can probably be addressed somewhat in the slicer with purging into the infill might help a bit yeah as far as color printing goes it's very fun and exciting but very time consuming as it does take much much longer as the process of changing filaments is also quite long and I think I've said that too much already but I do want to emphasize that you will be going through a lot of filament and actually guys I just realized that I did show one print here which is spiralized mode I did this little small vase in spiralized mode so it's a few layers on the bottom and then this one layer all the way around kind of complex and actually more strong because we have layers that touch each other so it's 
a little stronger than normal spiralized. So yeah, spiralized mode is not an issue here with this printer. There's a lot of things going for the A1 as the build volume is great at 256 squared, which is also like their other printers, the P1P, the X1. It's very quick. With single printing, I've actually really enjoyed it as the prints come out of this thing really fast and the quality is excellent. I love this whole extruder as it's very meticulously designed to work great with cutting the filament. Loading, unloading is easy. This indicator here is great to look at what's happening with the extruder movements. The purge here is uniquely <laughs> designed. Cooling is great. The removable stainless steel nozzle is quick to interchange and it does heat up to 300 C and the bed does go up to 100 C. We also get the PI build plate that's flexible. Really easy to pop off the models and they actually come off on their own and when we did have power loss the prints didn't pop off even though it completely cooled off for many hours and then it just started printing. We do get a little light here and a camera to monitor the prints. The linear rail on the x-axis is great and also we got metal rails for the y-axis the touchscreen is amazing it is a little bit offset here for whatever reason it does swivel which can be useful i guess but you can kind of see it's off just a little bit which if you have OCD it might bother you but yeah the touchscreen is very responsive and everything is easy to access and makes sense and yeah just the whole software you know once you get into Bamboo Lab their slicer their printers and how everything just works so well together it's very impressive as a whole so overall I give a huge thumbs up for this thing as I think of what you pay to what you get and going into Bamboo Labs this is an excellent excellent choice here especially if you're getting started and you want something that's you know more higher end than your typical but with that said if you are not interested in the color printing you can buy this printer with just you know the printer itself and print off of this spool holder here and it does an excellent job with that and I think for anyone that wants to get into 3d printing this would be a great choice either with the AMS or without depending on what you want to do but I feel like going with the whole combo is probably a better deal as eventually you would want to try it out and there are occasions where you do want to print color printing and you don't mind you know sacrificing some filament for that as it's quite important important depending on the project you're doing so yeah the combo here is excellent value overall for what you get